When I first turned to the dark side, I wasn't 100% sure that being a dark Sith Lord was my ideal career path. Sure, the dark side was all powerful, but I didn't want to limit myself. So I decided to take a year or two to explore my options. I had to see if there was anything else for me besides being a dark Sith Lord. I decided to go to college. What better way is there to find yourself than going to school? I was always a fast Padawan learner, so I thought I could pick up something pretty easily. I enrolled at a local university, though I had a few problems with some of my professors. And that, appears with the duckbill platypus, is mankind's greatest enemy. Yes, Trish. Dr. Jones, what exactly is a headpiece of the Staff of Ra? The Staff is just a stick. Uh, I don't know, about this high. And what you did with this was you took it to a special room in Tannis, a map room, and it would point out the exact location of the Well of the Souls. That's it for today. Make sure to read pages 637 through 42 for Thursday. I will see you then. Darth, before you leave, I'd like to see you after class, please. Now, Darth. That's Mr. Lord Vader to you. Okay. Mr. Lord Vader, there's no scientific evidence that proves the existence of these midichlorians, or an all-powerful force that... I find your lack of respect for my faith (coughs) disturbing. (coughs) (coughs) While attending college, I pledged a fraternity. Lambda, lambda, lambda. I figured, I'm already in one, being a Jedi, how hard could this be? This is your first time pledging Lambda, Lambda, Lambda. You have to fight. Too easy. Where'd you go, psycho boy? And you ever wonder how they get these ridges in these chips? It's magic. Magical. However, college did have its upsides. Panty Raid. <laughs> Being a Sith gives you great power that no professor could teach in a classroom. 
I decided to join the workforce and make my way in the galaxy. While on this venture, I had a handful of odd jobs. May I help you? Yeah, I want to place an order for delivery. I want a large pizza with sausage. We are out of sausage at the moment. You're out of sausage? <laughs> how, how the hell can you be out of sausage? I mean, it's not like an unpopular pizza topping, you know? <laughs> what kind of establishment doesn't have a fresh stock of sausage on hand for its customers? <laughs> Come on, man. You can't go chuck the customers over the phone like that. It's bad for business. You don't want to go killing our customers, do you? Don't answer that. Here, just go make this order. All right, thank you. Bye. Here, man, go make the delivery. It'll be 11.38. All right. Here. Keep change. 62 cents. That's it. That's my tip. See ya. That job was short-lived, like a few others. I'm not even supposed to be here today. Thanks. PC load letter, what the hell is that? Fader. How you doing? We got a little problem. Did you get the memo about the cover sheets? Yes, I got the memo. I just forgot. And I already took care of it. So there really is no conflict. Yeah, you see? We're trying to put the cover sheets on the TPS report.
yeah. Break it up. Break it up. Back to work. Go on. Back to your desks. Vader, you've got initiative. I can see you're going to go far in this company. Yeah. Why don't you, uh, call Milton and have him go ahead and clean this up and, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and take that. Yeah. After climbing through the ranks of that company, I got bored. I decided to quit and focused all of my energy on getting back into the dating scene. After my wife died, I just wasn't ready. I needed time to heal. Taking over that company boosted my confidence. It was time to look for the new Mrs. Vader. Hey, Sarth. Fancy seeing you here. How are you? Good, good. Good. Hey, I have someone really special for you to meet. Can you guess who it is? Mmm, I don't know. Oh, come on, guess. Mm. Sister. So, you have a sister. Hey. I'm so excited to meet you. I mean, I can't believe it's really you. I've heard so much about you. So tell me, is it true? Can you really make a girl, you know, just by... Type. I mean, I went camping once and I ran away screaming and that's how I lost boyfriend number four, but <laughs> we really didn't like him anyway. He didn't have very much money. He had a good car, uh, but that was a gift from like a grandparent or something. I don't really know. Um, you have the most beautiful eyes. I just, I'm getting lost in them. They're like deep pools of, of wealth. I went to uh, East Asia the other day, um, month, and it was absolutely phenomenal. I visited uh, the, the, the wall, you know, the, um, the big one. You can see it from the moon. I'm kind of like a parasite in a way. I mean, you just kind of latch on to men and use them for the resources. I mean, I like nice cars, nice things. I'm a little bit of a bling bling girl. Have you ever heard of JLo? Oh my gosh, she is my absolute hero. She dated P. Diddy, Ben Affleck, and now she's with this guy, Mark Anthony. He's not very good looking, but apparently he's like all the rave in Latin America. Oh. Check, please. So, does one of these buttons make you vibrate? This whole journey of finding myself has been an enlightening experience, and this sabbatical has been a good one. But the circle is now complete. I've come to realize that my destiny lies down a darker path. I was meant to be a Sith Lord. Now excuse me while I go finish off the Jedi.
Midichlorians. What a stupid idea. <laughs>